G'day guys, I can finally show you through my drawer system here. So this is the RV Storage Solutions Premium Tour of One system. So it's a alloy drawer system, um, pretty usable space. You can pull that out. It's got the drawer um, flap there. So you can put a lot of stuff on there. Usually put all the camera gear and make lunch and whatnot up here. Uh, I've got the second deep drawer as well. So that's got all the housings for all the larger items, um, recovery gear and whatnot. And it's even got a little tray up there as well. So having the tray up there is pretty handy. Um, throw all your wraps and a couple of snacks in there, muesli bars and whatnot. Um, and then there's one more drawer up here, which is the top drawer. This, this drawer's on um, slides, so it comes out a little bit further, comes a full length actually. Um, so usually I've got all my cutlery in little boxes and a couple of tie down straps and whatnot up there. Makes that pretty easy to use. Um, it's got a little locking tab on the back, so just lift that up, slide it back in. So it's, um, it's a very usable system, it's all very, very good quality. They're made in, um, in Victoria, so Gisborne, Victoria, it's all laser cut. You can get them in steel or alloy, um, I sort of, the steel's not that much cheaper so I don't really know what application that would really suit. I think alloy is gonna suit a lot of people, cuts down that weight and like they're, they're strong. So I've got no problems standing on it, even standing up here to get up on the roof. So part of the system there got this air out the top which you can tie stuff down um, good for the my gas cooker um, and it's got this little table as well it does have a cover um, I was just swimming over there before so I've just relocated over here to stay out of the noise usually this table would be in a cover so I set this table up usually put one foot on there Pull it up to the sort of height you want. Clip straight on. So um, this table is actually meant to clip onto here. That's the way that RV storage advertise it. So really you'd have the drawer and then the table underneath. Um, I never actually put the brackets on the bottom. I will put them on there eventually, but just I like it too much up the top. It's just so good up the top there. Haven't locked these in. But it's so adjustable, you can get a lot more height out of it. And I actually really like it at this height. I've got no problems putting all my camera gear up here. Um, it hasn't got a physical lock, but it can only move that much. So perfect in my opinion. So we've obviously got the 85 litre Bushman's fridge. So I've been running this fridge for about 15 months now, so coming up on a year and a half, not too, not too soon. It's empty at the moment. As you can see, it's copped a fair bit of use. So it's got little freezer compartment up there, little magnet, holds it up. It's got a nice little light in there, adjustable dial. It doesn't have a digital gauge or anything like that, but um, usually put on at about four or five out of 10 and it's, and it's perfect. So it keeps the drinks nice and ice cold. And just, it's easy as that to get into it. You just pull the tab and you're in. So I can't rate that enough. So in the side here as well, you've still got full access to your side wings. So you can store stuff down in here, stuff that's not too common. Um, you still get to your jack. I've got a bit of 12 volt stuff in there. So makes it pretty easy to get in there. 
So this system's been getting a lot of use. I'm still fully moving into it. Um, you'll see a lot of 12 volt stuff come about. Um, I've got the full air system. I've got a K-on shelf going on up the top there. I've got um, the air inflation system, which will pump all four tires up at once. So that'll be put in um, probably an air tank. I've got a water bladder going in the front there in front of the fridge because there is a little bit of space in front of that fridge there and a water pump with a hose reel so <laughs> there's a fair bit to go in there yet so this is why I thought I'd just give a little bit of a rundown on where it's at at the moment and um, yeah so you can follow along with the build so in the front in front of the drawers here I've pulled my rear seats out so I've actually got the twin floor in there so two false floors in there which I might run through a bit more tomorrow because I'm going to be in the workshop and um, just with the lighting and that you'll be able to see a bit easier so that's what that's about alrighty guys here we are in the workshop it is like a week later but um, I couldn't help myself I had to do some modifications so if you can see there I've put in the K-on shelf up the top but um, I just wanted to show you through the front here while the lighting's a little bit better managed to get a little spot inside here so it's not too bad so this is the twin floor system so as you can see there the bottom frame bolts into the standard seat mounting points so that's that goes for the inside as well and then the top one attaches to the actual frame of the drawer set so it doesn't come all the way forward in the drawers that's to keep it sort of all slim as you can see the fridge how it is there now sits quite a way back in there gives you this massive space here so once i tidy all the all the fridge wiring and whatnot up um the water bladder is going in there so i've got a 60 liter drifter water bladder that will go in there um i'll run all the outlets through here and it should be pretty tidy i should be able to run a little outlet down here and then the suction for the pump, mount the pump up in this area up here somewhere and then um, run it to a hose reel, try and mount a hose reel over here. But the hose reel I'm trying to get at the moment is out of stock um, at Sydney Tools. It's a little um, 8mm hose, eight meter, uh, 6 meters, I think, which should be long enough. This is the shelf I've put in, so it's a K-on shelf. Um, goes quite well with this system. So still leaves a fair bit of room there. So I don't want to show you too much of that because that's for another video. I've got to do the wiring and whatnot. Uh, as you can see, starts the, starts the compressor up. All this is still the same. With that, it's got a lot more accessories, so I've still got to finish all that install um, which will be plumbed to the front and the rear of the car so that's a bit of a look there compressor tire inflation setup that's the back of the drawer there so um, this area here is reserved for my dog at the moment so she likes to sit up here we've got a um, 12 week old border collie and if you see this window she likes to lick it <laughs> anyway, when she gets a little bit taller, um, I'm thinking of sacrificing a bit of space here and coming to the frame where that frame runs along and actually cutting that off. So then she'll be able to sit down on this platform, fill it in along that frame. So that third middle support, this will become the, the end of it. So I'm interested in having a look into that, um, which will keep her out of the water bladder keep her off this shelf here and then still have the under storage on that side so that's sort of what's happening here um, the fridge is such an important such an important accessory to this because this fridge saves so much weight like it's ridiculous how much that saves the fridge weighs 21 and a half kilos um, anyone that knows fridge slides well, they can be from 37 to 50 kilos for this sort of size fridge or even a 75, a little bit smaller, because um, this is a Bushman's 85 litre. Um, so you're saving a massive amount on a fridge slide because you don't need one. Um, and it's, you know, 
how much easier can you get to open that? And then even some of the chest fridges, um, I'm not exactly up to spec on how much they weigh, but they probably weigh more than 21 kilos. So I don't know, in the comments below, let us know um, if you know of a fridge and how much it weighs. Um, this here, I usually actually put in the middle row. So I don't know, it can live up there, but that's the table for this. Um, this shelf here, I've found a good use of putting a couple of tools and stuff up in here of late. So I've got some snips, I've got some shifters, um, just easy to get to stuff. That for wiping out the swag. Um, it's just quite a handy little drawer, that one. Um, over here, I'm going to finish off the 12 volt stuff as I spoke about. But this is not the first RV storage um, system I've ever seen. I've seen some absolutely beautiful systems um, working with TJM Hunter Valley in the past. As you can see, I've got the TJM gear in the car. I've been working with them commercially for a little bit. Um, used to do a lot of their videos and whatnot. So, yeah, that's how I've seen a lot of the systems. And I just sort of knew that how good they were and just had to give them a go myself. So the only reason loading a car for me gets a little bit awkward is because of some of this gear here. So this is a new big camera case I've just got. Um, it is quite good to just throw some stuff in and then it still fits in the car. Um, but once you load all this stuff in, plus some lighting gear, plus, um, you know, all your camping stuff, it can get really tight in a wagon. So I just really needed all this extra space. Like this here, slides into this gap. It's a little bit hard one-handed. You know, that case slides in and out of there. So, you know, you can load a fair bit of stuff underneath and it's all out of sight. So when I'm parking, you know, if I've parked my car, no one's going to know there's 30 grams worth of camera gear in underneath that shelf. So that's a good thing as well. Absolutely loving the system. So, um, yeah, if you're looking at something like this, ask us a question. I'll send through any more details or whatever. But, yeah, rvstoragesolutions.com.au. Get on to it, guys.